Hello everyone. Today I want to focus a little bit on preparing your weaver's cloth, your design on your gripper frame. And I will have to say the investment of a gripper frame is one of the best things you can do. Um, keep your eyes out on eBay, Etsy. You know, they're, they're pretty simple. So just, you know, a standard, you don't need anything fancy that spins or anything like that. But it will give you a much, much tighter surface. And the tighter your surface, the better and easier it's gonna be for you to punch. And I'm sure that you've heard the comment, you know, you want it to be drum tight. Drum tight is really more about the sound than the feel. And, you know, your hands can only do so much. So what I've done is I've purchased me this tool here that is for stretching canvas. And what I actually do is I actually go around my fabric. You can do this with pliers too. But I go around my fabric and I actually am able to stretch it further, much further than I could just with my hands. So I'm going to stretch it. Sometimes the preparation is the most important part. Okay. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. going until I've been all the way around it. Let me show you with pliers too because it works just as well with pliers. I'm still getting used to that tool so this is how I started was just with a regular just a regular pair of pliers. So much tighter than I could do it by hand, just my hands. And you say, oh, that seems like an awful lot, but believe me, if you do it just once, you will find out how much simpler and how much quicker your punching goes because you're not punching against the material mounts. Let's see how that drum sounds now. Pretty tight surface. Be careful because those corners are very hard. It looks like I've got a little cut on me. So see how tight that is? It's just a tip today. Try and make sure you have that really tight. Thanks. Have a good day.